France is on a mission to make Paris a financial hub. Officials are working on a legislative package that aims to attract bankers who were displaced by Brexit. The goal is to simplify France's legal and fiscal framework. This, as some believe the current laws, create obstacles for the financial sector. Joining us now, French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire. He's in New York this week meeting with Wall Street firms. It's great to have you drop by the side of Morning Joe. I'm curious, sir, um, what is different now um, that would be enough to entice, I don't know, uh, Morgan Stanley, Goldman, and others to place their bets on Paris? Yes, the, the idea is to have uh, as many uh, financial jobs coming from uh, the U.S. as possible in Paris. Uh, we have become, with uh, President Macron, the most attractive country for foreign investments uh, in Europe. And we want to carry on. Uh, we took very strong decisions to uh, cut in red tape, to reduce the level of uh, taxation, to put in place financial incentives for uh, banks, for financial industry, and for private companies. And once again, we want to follow on. We are clearly at a turning point in the world economy. There is a need of a huge investment uh, in climate transition, in defense, in innovation, in disruptive technologies. So that's why we need the American investors. And I'm here in New York to say to the American inv investors, you've done a lot and we are very grateful for that. But please do a little bit more, one step further, because we need you to face the uh, huge challenges of the future. So, Mr. Minister, talk to us a little bit about how maybe your job is made easier or your pitch for these financial institutions to come to Paris uh, made that much more effective because of what's happened to London and Brexit, with London no longer being in the EU, where Paris has the ability to step up. Yes, I, I think that uh, many American investors are now understanding what the Brexit means for the UK and for uh, the finance in London. But I think that's not my first argument. My first argument for the American investors is stability. Over the last seven years, with President Macron, we have sticked exactly to the same policy, reducing the level of taxation, investing in the green industry, investing in innovation, in uh, scientific skills so that we have become once again the most attractive country for foreign investment and we will stick to the same path with to the same policy and this stability for financial investors is absolutely key mr minister the pension reform was very contentious and some of these changes by president macron to make the economy the french economy more dynamic how has he sold the public on these changes or not? How is the French public adjusting to some of these fundamental changes to how France operates? Well, first of all, we did it. We did the pension reform. And of course, when you are introducing very strong reforms like the pension reform or the labor market reform, uh, you can expect some uh, reactions from the public opinion and uh, from the French population. But the results are here. We have created more than 2 million jobs over the last seven years. We have created 100,000 jobs in the industry. That's something completely new in France. So, of course, that's quite difficult to introduce strong reforms, but this is a necessity to make our economy stronger and more successful. And I think that people are now understanding that they can take a benefit from those uh, reforms. Uh, as far as jobs are concerned, job creations, uh, opening of uh, new industrial plants for EVs, for electric car batteries, for chips. We are on the right direction and we are getting the positive results of those difficult reforms. French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you by. so much. All right.